Hello, good evening, everybody, and great to have you here. Um, oh, I'm going to move that over that side again because we don't want my face to be blotting out where I'm going to be writing on my board if I need to write on my board. So, hello. Uh, yeah, I'm still a bit froggy in here, and since I've last seen you, my terrible head cold and sounding so rough that I did last Wednesday. Um, on Monday, I was did the courteous thing and did a COVID test to check um, before I went to see one of my vulnerable friends um, as a group of us were going to go out for lunch. Um, and unfortunately, um, it was testing positive. So um, my from Tuesday last week, I've probably had COVID. So um, yeah, but hey, we're here. I'm feeling, I feel like I'm coming out the other side. My throat is still awful. I've got this taste and this smell I just cannot get rid of. Um, and But yeah, everybody's saying the second time round, it stays longer. So let's hope that that's not the case. Um, I hope someone's going to come on and join me. I know I'm a little bit late getting on. I've been on a training course on, on a Zoom call. Um, and I was hoping it was going to finish in time. So I had to excuse myself and come off the call just to pop on here. So what am I doing today? Well, that would be telling, wouldn't it? Hi, Maxine. Nice to see you. So you had a little bit of a blurb and an update. Um, yeah. So, yeah. So my all my ailments I've had. <coughs> Thanks, Linda. Yes, I am. I'm, uh, yeah, I've still got the cough. I've still got the horrible taste and smell, as I've just said. Um, yeah, it was on Monday. I did the right thing, and yes, I've had obviously had COVID. So David um, has no doubt got it as well. We haven't bothered to test him, but my test was positive. So I feel like I'm coming out of the worst of it. So hey, um, I've been on a training call just now, so I've excused myself from a Zoom call um, to pop on here. Hi Maria, not like you to catch me live. Nice to see you. Um, so. Sitting in front of my desk, I was sat in the lounge on this call and I know that I had a sketch. If we had time on Sunday, I was going to do another card. Um, but hey, guess what? That's tonight's card. So um, I am winging it. I kind of, I've kind got a little sketch in front of me. I've got last um, Sunday's sketch and I've got tonight's, uh, the one I didn't do. So let's just see how we're going to go with this and if this works out right i think it should be nice so we're down on the desk okay we're here so it is going to be using i had to put them all away so i had to pull them out again it is going to be using um my some of my b elements here um i do need to grab a punch i believe um for the i want to do some leaves let me just see what dyes i have on my desk um because we're going to need some leafy bits not in that one. Oh, but I might need that. Um, paper florist. There we go. There'll be some in there. Unless it borders stitch so sweetly. No, nope, that will do me nicely. We'll go with paper florist. So these dies in here are gorgeous. Um, not going to need them just yet, yet though. So I don't think I need catalogues either. So I'm just going to pop that on here. I have no idea where my trimmer is. Got a feeling it's going to be around the other side on the chair. So maybe I need to go and grab a, a trimmer. Just bear with me a sec. Let's bring that one in. Pop that on the chair beside me. So I'm thinking this is going to fit on one of our note cards. Now I've had a little break from note cards. So let's see if we can bring those back on. I'm hoping we're going to do this and if we have time I might make a couple um, what I didn't have time to do was to grab another drink so apologies if I still carry on barking okay we'll get a second one out just in case and if I have the envelopes oh, we've got three now if I have a couple of those we can decorate those envelopes as we go because it's always nice to see some little extras on there so um with the dent going this way the raised pieces this side i'm going to fold those in half you know i love my note cards and i always have a good stock in so that's the first one and this one i think was already folded so just press on there so um i'm going to be using a layer i want a matte layer so i need my white card been super efficient and you've put a lot of things away it's a good feeling until then you come running through 
grabbing things off the shelves again and pulling it all out <laughs> to use it. But never mind. Hey, best plans. Right, so let's cut this. I'm going to have this one upside down. There we go. So on my long, long list of things to do is to share with you in my note card um, folder, my box here. Hi, everybody else joining me. Great. Um, so I've written these on here roughly on a piece of acetate so that they can go and lay on cards. Um, I am going to do a nice little graphic here. I'm going to um, compile this, check the measurements again and do more layers. And I'm going to have that as a shareable. So I'm going to put that out for you all so you can print it. Um, and um, so you've got measurements. So these are the note cards. So I've got a mismatch of measurements on there at the moment, but I kind of know where I'm going with that. So when I'm working um, with the note cards, I think I've said to you before, these start off measuring three and a half by five. So I will stick to the inches. This has got kind of a panel here. So I'm gonna be inclined to take that down to just a little bit less. I'm gonna go four and three quarters. And that just keeps me in that cutting track there and doesn't waste much on this piece. Okay, and we had three inches this way, so I'm going to come down to two and three quarters. I'm going to cut a couple. Okay, there we go. That looks a bit small. Two and three quarters. That can't be that small. It's three and a half, not three and a half, not three. In my head, I've got it three and a half. So three and a quarter, that might look a little bit better size. There we go. I'm pretty good with numbers normally, but hey, today's obviously an off day. So let's take this one out here. So we want four and three quarters by three and a quarter. So has, how has everybody's week been? I hope i um, not got too many other ailments going on. I'm hearing a lot of tales that this, um, the second time round, um, COVID seems to be lasting longer for people. So it's not a good sign, is it? Um, so these are my two layers. I'm gonna take them off the table at the moment. These two, I want to put some um, texture onto them. So I've brought over the big shot. And I wanted a fairly neutral surface. I'm going to need this layer in because it's the dies. And I'm going to have, oh, I've got some bits on there. Take those off. And I'll have that one and I'll put my layers in. No, I'm not. I'm going to emboss. I don't want any of those. Just lift you up and just go as we are. Okay. So I brought over. Hello, mother. I've got ticks in here. So these two here are two of my really good go-tos. I think we used this one the other night, the textured one, the time-worn type, and then this one is the bricks. So I think I'm gonna use bricks tonight. Apologize if that was the same order I did them last week, but they are two of my definitely go-tos. Um, I like a distressed look, but I like a tasteful distressed look. So I'm just gonna run these through. I had a cup of tea while I was on the call. I had that ready before it started. Um, but boy, I'm ready for another one already. Take those two through. Now this can be used as a Valentine's Day card. It doesn't have to be. So I'm gonna do two different lots of words on here. I'll probably be bringing the mini cutter up. So I have uh, a vision on this one and if I say that you can help me with this one and you can make some choices I can see this we've talked about this one being a it is a bee's body can you see that on there it's a bee's body and there's his tail either facing that way or that way and obviously the heart can be wings and the little heart can be antennae there's lots of things we know i know ginger and honey i have yeah hot lemon i don't put the ginger in it but i do have honey um i did drop my accounts off to the accountant um 
and I did wear a mask. I didn't know at that point I had it was COVID, um, but I did drop those off over the weekend. So while I was out, I had to get more um, nets of lemons and more honey because we had gone out. And obviously, both of us bad. It's not lasting very long. So I've got the texture on here ready for the cards. Let's put them underneath. Um, I have another use for this one. And I'm not sure what colour I'm going to do it yet. But I've got some on the table. What have I got? I have some gold textured. Um, we might have used this the other day. So I think I might use a piece of this. I can see this. If I cut a little strip, I don't want to waste a big piece. So I say all my little trimmers are probably over there as well. So let's just cut a strip off there. There is a reason I have to cut a strip. Because this, I want to have it upright. Um, I don't mind punching a heart out, but I want to have this without the speech bubble at the top. I'm going to cut the top off and I want to make this as a vase. So a different, totally different use. Um, it's best to do this. It's probably actually better that way, look. And I don't waste the heart. Try to avoid all this wastage up here when you're punching part of an image out that you really don't need. Okay, so I'm going to pop that there for now. But this, I want to see this as a as a, a bit of a, um, a neck round here as a vase of some sort. So I have got some, it's a bit of a tutorial here going on today. It is in my head. Um, so it's another one of those mystery nights. So I want to hold this so that somewhere so I can use this and just nick a little tiny piece at the top here. So you can see that I, I don't want to lose lots of it. I just want to take a little curve. And what I'm doing is for the top of the vase, I'm actually going to take out the curve of the bottom of the speech bubble or the bee's head, if you like. So I just want to take a little nick out of that and look at it as though it's going to be fairly straight. Okay, so that seems a bit strange, but that is like the hearts that make the bee is the punch part of a set. Absolutely. This is the, yeah, so I used this the other day, Linda, as well. If you pop back on some of the others, um, this is now a vase. It is a, 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 um, a bee's body. And because I put everything away, it's gone on the shelf. Just a sec. I thought I was being a good girl, you see, after finishing my tax return. I spent a bit of time just tidying up a little bit. So that I want to have as a, as a vase, okay? Process of in, um, um, interpretation. So on this set, Linda, you can actually stamp this as the bee's body. So you could stamp that in yellow ink. Stamp that over the top in black. These can be hearts or they can be wings. I've gone back. If you go back, you'll find that I've made this into flowers. Okay, I do have one easily to hand she says in a little container acetate container I have them on the table here and they are no longer don't know where they are um, Linda I'm gonna have to pull them up and um, post them into the page anyway but I have got another packet of some cards and I've made this into the, the wings um, and I've punched the hearts out and if you do eight you have north south east and west and then fill in the gaps as well um, you will actually get a flower a, the petals of a flower so there's lots of uses for this um, lots and lots I'm not that key I'm not a big one on the the valentine's day wishes but they're cute they are cute and then of course you've got the trail here um, I'm just trying to do different things with it. That's where I am at the moment. Okay, to give you more uses from one stamp set, but that is a bundle on its own. So you do get the 10% off buying the two together. Okay, so I'll pop that out of the way for now. So back on track and I want to do a heart and I want a stem. Um, just wondering which one to use. This is quite a nice um, a background, um, 
but I'm looking for what's going to make a nice heart punch out. Just bear with me a sec. So I think it doesn't have to be a Valentine's Day. It doesn't have to be red, but I think for the purposes of today, it might just be. If I've got any scraps in here I can use, I will use the scraps first. So just bear with me a sec. I have a cello bag all the time for the pieces that I've got waste left over. Now I was looking for the little mini heart. That's the one I want. There we go. It's easier if you can corral them all in one place. So um, I'm going to do two and one of each of those two. And then I just keep it in the front of that pack of paper and you haven't got bits all over the place. It just keeps it nice and tidy. So we're going to have a couple of punches out here. Okay. And as I showed you the other day, I kind of, it's good to do yin and yang, um, top and bottom, but this is just going to punch out of there nicely. Um, so I've got a red one for one card. I'm going to need another vase, aren't I? So um, one of the things I don't do enough of is to ask people to share my post. So if you're able to share, I know we've got um, um, uh, the first lady, we've got Maxine, Maxine Elizabeth. She's very good at sharing. I've had a look on her page and she shares an awful lot of people's posts, different crafts of different types. So do go take a look at her page. Um, and see what she's sharing um, and she's very good at sharing for me which then gets my content in front of other people and I really appreciate that so I think that Maxine needs to have one of these cards don't you so I've got two going today we'll watch back it is a cute set it really is hi Shaz not long to go to um, Rotterdam is it looking forward to that so let's just quickly catch ourselves up shall we catch our tails and i'm going to put a second one in here make that um b body as i did before so i've got that one out and then we're going to put that on a piece of post-it note post-it notes are a good thing to have in your crafty stash okay just put it onto the sticky end and then that gives you an, a longer handle so when i want to pump this back in the in the punch here all I'm going to knit, do is to nick out the top of that. I want it to be straight, so it's going up here straight. And I'm just going to take a little tiny curve at the top there. And there is my other vase, okay? That kind of came to me in a little brainstorm. So that's those. I'm going to need a little bit of greenery. Um, and what have I got in the greens? Let's see in here. I'm going to grab the punch. Um, I want to use a, a leaf punch. Um, let's just have a look at paper florist and see what we get in here. We might find some stems in here that we can use. This is a really fabulous set. I really want to use it more um, than what I have done so far. Um, they aren't that leggy, are they really? That's quite a nice one. My magnets are so strong, I'm gonna to have to prise that off. Um, so we can adapt this, I'm sure we can. So let's use that one. These are multiple dies on one piece so that you can, there's all sorts of things you can do this. And I am gonna make a little collage as to how you make all the different cards with those ones. So which green do we think is gonna go with this? I think it's gonna be a garden green. Um, it looks a nice um, color. And if you can see me in the camera when I walk away from the desk, yes, I am in my pyjamas. Um, <laughs> I have got a jumper on, but yes, I'm in my pyjamas. I had a late shower this afternoon. I just needed, you know when you're not feeling too good and you just need a bit of a freshen up and the shower and wash my hair was the, the bee's knees. So I didn't bother to get dressed. I've just got a jumper on over the top. Okay. But I think that's allowed, isn't it? So these are just some leaves. Um, obviously, you've got probably got lots of leaves in your crafty stash somewhere. You have uh, punches and dies. Just something to give it a little bit of a stem. Okay, but I just wanted to give you another use for these dies. Uh, the, the punch set. Okay. So there's one set. Okay, so that could come up. I'm going to take some of those 
branches off there, the leaves. And we'll do another one in there. Using up my scraps again. <clears throat> Best crafting in the PJs, absolutely. Poke that one out the back there. He is going to come. There we go. Just start one leaf off and then just gently pull those up and then you can just peel them off again. And this set is actually, they're all detailed in there. Oh, sorry, I'm just off camera. Um, they're stitched as well. A lot of these ones in here are stitched. So they just make some nice little features. I'm just going to leave that over there for now because I might need that again. And we'll see how we go. There we go. So there's that. So there's that one, there's that one. So this is an experiment because now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take off, I'm going to straighten. You might want me to just come in a little bit further on here. Let me see what I can do for you. Now I'm going to be covering those up, aren't I? So by moving my photo, it's not always in the right place. Yeah, Linda, you've been through a lot, my dear. So I'm going to make this straight up here by taking these little leaves off the side because we want it to have uh, a bit of a stem. Nature is not perfect, all right? So just remember, nature is not perfect. So you might get some little bumps and bumps as you take off these leaves. Doesn't really matter, honestly. Um, I've got some little, little pieces along there. I can see they're not straight, but it really doesn't matter because nature is not gonna, you're not gonna see all of that. And that leaf on the top, we want to allow some room where we're gonna put some um, adhesive on there and that's gonna be our stem. Okay, we will do some more to it, so it's not it's looking a bit bitty at the moment, but trust me, you know me and doing all sorts of little bits and pieces with my equipment. Okay, so there's another stem. So that's going to come down into our pot. The pot will be 3D. Okay, I'm going to leave those to one side at the moment. And I'm going to start building these up, I think, from the bottom. So I'm going to attach these. It's a lot easier when your card is staying in one place. Okay, so we're going to go over these. I just had the idea when I was preparing for Sunday night, last Sunday, and I did scribbled out two sketches. And um, I think it's going to work. Looks like I've got a mark on there, but I don't think it is. So these are just where the texture it just lifted the edge a little bit. Yeah, there'll be another honey and lemon being made when I come off air. Okay, so that's those two. And then my stamp and dimensionals are here. Oh no, they're not, they're the gems. Stamp and dimensionals. So we're going to pop a couple of these on for the <laughs> does not do to sit around more than one side of the table. Those of you who know my studio, I sit facing the telly when I'm in here on my own. Um, so the television is behind me, but when I'm live I, I sit this way because it's a better angle for the lights and everything so i um yeah sit around the other side now i have done a little bit of crafting because i was making some items for a tutorial share that i do with some of my colleagues of, abroad so i'm going to just pop a couple of little ones on here it doesn't need these another big one on there so just those on there like so now i do want to leave space for a greeting so I'm going to put something underneath there. I kind of think that it's going to go there like so. Okay, take that one off and a couple of little ones. Either side. So you wouldn't necessarily have looked at this punch and seen this as being a vase, would you? Or a pot outside in the garden somewhere. I know I wouldn't, I just literally, I was, what, what can I use? And I've driven a silly little little sketch of something and then a dotted line coming across to cut it across straight. So it was only tonight it came to me to take a little nick out of the top that that makes it a little, little, little bit better. So I'm going to place this down on here 
as being my stem and because I put a little dimensional either side there's room in there for leeway so I can poke that down quite a way okay but we want the heart to sit on top of that so I'm going to put some adhesive on there so I'm going to stick this down first and I'm making two so one's going to go Maxine just make sure you drop a that's Maxine um, Elizabeth at the top there just make sure that you personal message me with your address my dear and I'll make sure I send one of these out because you've been sharing my videos I just think it's a nice to say thank you good evening madam are you coming to say hello to your visit viewers there you go. Oops. yes it's treat time daddy's been in bed ages hasn't he yes no one to talk to mummy's been on a work video a work zoom okay yes indignant or what hey okay. and everybody's watching they they knew you're there they can hear you so i'm going to do the same on this i'm going to put a big one in the middle okay and then i'm going to put little ones either side on the heart She's very vocal, isn't she? Right, that's those. And then the little ones. So I always ask if you've got anything you particularly would like to see me make, it's a lot easier for me to actually know what sort of things people are asking for. Um, so if you do have any ideas, please do put a little message across to me and say, I fancy seeing something with this. If you've got, have you got this set? Could you do something on whatever or a technique? Um, I have quite a long list of things to pull on um, but if there's something that people particularly want to see then do just ask me and baby girl yes Shaz <laughs> oh. oh Carol you're finally for New Brunswick lovely the trucking along yeah absolutely uh, the punches are the bee's knees for us um, I love a punches now you know those leaves I cut off earlier. I want to have them, instead of them coming out straight rigid, I'm just gonna put them at an angle. Um, I'm just gonna put a couple on each stem. That's what I drew on my sketch, just to have them slightly at an angle like so. And then another one, wherever, that can come this way, just like so. There we go. It's just trying to think outside the box and teach you, you don't have to look at your stamp sets and your punches and see exactly as they are. Now, someone come on here and tell me what else I could do to make this. Is that enough or shall I put something else on here? I'm gonna put a greeting on as yet. So these are all the little notches on here where I've cut these off, but because it's a green on a green, it really can't see that much. You do wanna just make sure that they're kind of facing the right way that you want them. I don't think she had her tea earlier. There's tea in the, they have the biscuits out all the time, but then they do have a sachet of meat. But I don't think she was up for that very well. Um, didn't want to get up. She was sound asleep. So I'm going to use, mm, what colour have I got here? I've actually got the sweet sorbet. They're, these are the Baker's Twines that we had in the In Colours last year. And this one here is the sweet sorbet. And because we've got reds in here, I'm actually gonna use those. I can't just break away and give you treats, missus. You can wait till I finish. You know the routine. So for my bows, ladies, I'm gonna tie this in, in front of you. I'm gonna literally hold it in this hand. This finger will make me a loop. Okay, so there's a loop. You can see that, can't you? Yes, yeah, she does. She does want treats. But she's around. The, she's gone down by the fireplace now. So she's wandering around the table. So she can wait till I finish. So I'm just going to crisscross those over. I hold this one, but I'm pulling this loop through. It doesn't matter what it looks like to start with. You've got a bow tied. Okay, and then you're going to pull it in your tails. So pull in that side. Pull in this side. Pull in that side. Oh. They're beautiful colours. They go with the teacups, Linda. You remember the teacups from last year? You did the, the afternoon tea with us, didn't you? I've um, been speaking to Jackie today about um, 
another afternoon tea in the dis area like we did before. So I'm just going to take those tails off. Right, so I'm going to put a little bow on here like so. Okay, I might have to trim those tails. They might be a little bit long. I'm going to do another one here. Yeah, we're trying to find a venue for... Um, Maxine, do you know anywhere around your area? We kind of were trying to work around the dis area. We did one at the Park Hotel before that was taken over by, yes, other people. Um, and um, so there's no longer a hotel. Um, so we had one there, but we were looking for somewhere else today. We're going to try at Oaksmere in this in a couple of weeks jackie and i are going to go over and we have to do a sample <laughs> we have to ch check the quality that we might want to offer to customers so that kind of means that we have to go and have a test and see what the food's like so it's a good reason to go out and have a afternoon tea isn't it so those ones are a bit squished i'm gonna cut them a bit shorter as well on that one so they just need a little bit of unraveling but they're fine they're there so that's those just cut these down a little bit shorter stick that one on there so there we go baker's twine is very very fine a bit too fine really sometimes um but they're going to sit on there like so they're good so pop that over there get those out of the way so we um i haven't got a clue what sentiment i'm going to put on these yet but i want a glue dot a mini glue dot and they will roll up I'm getting very low on these down the bottom here um, and I've got my tweezers here and all I'm going to do is just it's on my finger I'm just going to roll that along and push it so it makes a little bit of a sausage okay so that little glue dot is now going to be sat just on the front of that that vase or pot okay because they're very tacky you have to just make sure it leaves the tool or your finger and I'm going to place that on the middle there so the middle of my bow is at the bottom of the stem, if you like, okay? And it is a good idea just to press that down. If you've got tweezers or if you've got a bone folder, you can just squidge it in into that dent in there, just the, so that the, um, the mini glue dot will just grab hold of that string, that twine. Okay, so we're gonna do the same again. We're gonna push that one along. Okay, lift it off and pop it in there. The reason being that the twine is very narrow. You can see how fine it is. The glue dots are quite round, but they're quite small. But if you just put a glue dot down, you would see the an, an arch top and bottom of that twine going through the middle. So kind of like, it's just my workaround really, so that you don't see any of the adhesive. Okay, I really want to tweak that bow a little bit more and open him up, but we can sort that later. So two little cutesy cards that aren't really um, bees either. Um, and I think it needs a little bit something else on there, but I'm not quite sure what yet. Um, I will put some gems. Put the gems out earlier. And just see what colours I've got in here. If I've got anything that's going to work better. No, pink screen. No, too big. Too big. Now I'm going to come back to the... Those reds aren't the right red, I don't think. They're a darker red, but I'm wondering if they would work. I think I might just go for the, the standard clear ones. These ones in here, they're rhinestone basic jewels. So these are the tiny ones. I come to the back, I've got more on that sheet. There we go, and we can put some of those. But I do want to put a greeting on here, so let's just try and find myself a little greeting. Now, I did have out the alphabet dies. Now, I'm not sure if I showed you my little trick with those. Ladies who come on here regularly, just tell me, have I shown you this with regards to the alphabet set? How many for afternoon tea? I'm not really sure. I mean, we had um, probably 18, 15, between 15 and 20, but we need somewhere we can actually craft as well. So we want to have the afternoon tea and then we want to have um, a bit of crafting or do the crafting and then have afternoon tea for our lunch. Um, so if you hear of anywhere, please just send me a message. Um, I say we're going to go to Oaksmere um, to suss them out. 
um, but the prices are quite they vary quite a lot um, and we wanted it somewhere around the disc area so any ideas you might have then please let me know um, this, this alphabet set is brilliant. There are some other um, characters as well with, with it. Not numbers, but there are other characters. So that is actually the size of the die. Now, this tub that I'm using here, I've just padded it with some kitchen roll cut up um, because I've put this over the top so that they don't fall out. I've actually used this. This is a, a case that, I ki that comes with daubers in it. Okay, so sponge daubers, just finger daubers um, for sponging. And... I've taken these out and put them in a Ziploc um, and I've used this for, I've du doubled up on some of the letters so I've got a black and a white and coloured in here and I will gradually keep topping these up um, depending on what um, I use, what I'm using for. Um, they aren't the colours in here that I wanted but I just wanted to show you as to how I'm storing the letters because passing that through once you get all of the letters out. You can just put a piece of scrap like I did high so you could just put HI and put a little tiny bit of scrap over it. You can do that as well. Don't have to cut the whole sheet. But sometimes it's easy just to do the whole lot. Okay, so that's those. And the wadding of um, kitchen roll is just to help fill that void where the lid is. It's not really deep enough either yet. I want some mount board in there. But these are the letters. So we, if I just say, for instance, got out the word love, if I've got those cut ready. I don't know that I actually want love on here but i just wanted to just show you what it's going to look like so these are the letters and um, by fishing them out with my could mm, let's not really go through there is it l o um you see i haven't got the v oh is, is that a v? yeah that's a v so there's a v so the size of the letters would work nicely on note cards as well okay so you've got that but i think it's quite bold and too much in your face i think it's too big for the weight of the card so I'm not going to use those um, I'm going to put them away put them back in their compartment so they're easy for to me to find next time um, and I'm going to find a greeting that's going to work nicely for us okay I'll put that case back together again later so it's not those they don't work like I said the other thing was that I put a lot of things away Ooh, that might work. This is one of our celebration sets, and I got this out to have a play with. Hello there. I think that works for anything, doesn't it? We could actually try that. Now, this is a sample made with the set that we've got here. So this is a free product, and it comes. This is a double spend. So this is a um, a lot of our celebrations. Most of them are forty-five pound spend. You get something to choose out of the catalogue for free. This one comes with a lovely embossing folder, and I will be playing with this one probably on Sunday. Um, so you get the embossing folder and the stamp set. So all of those stamps are on the front there. But that hello there, I think, is quite nice. So um, it's what's been used on that one. We had a get-together the other day, and we all made one of each other's cards. Yeah, one of each other's cards. For one from Celebration and one from um, the mini catalogue. So I've turned that over. That's ready for me to use. Okay. Um, I have um, Garden Green ink here. So I could use that one or the red. Let's see what that's gonna look like. And I'm gonna use some of my white scraps. She says she's got some hiding here. Okay, so this is some from earlier. If I can use this up, then I will, yeah, that will make a nice banner in there. It's good. You can all see me, can't you? I really had fun doing the little hearts um, the other day. That was nice to show you those. Because this is the first time of inking, I would normally stamp that on a piece of scrap. So I'm gonna stamp it on that post-it note. Because sometimes it just needs that um, inking up first, just to give a good image, a better image the second time round. Okay, hello there. And I'll do another one this side. This is where it pays to not bin all the pieces when I've cut those two circles out of a layer um, because I always have some little scraps on my desk and I can just roughly cut that down the middle and cut those off and cut that off and then we can make that into um, with my little trimmer 
<laughs> I brought through. Yeah. So I'll take that out of the way. We will put some gems on in a sec. Um, so I could fussy cut round this. We'd let's do one and one. So I'm going to line this up so that I want my sentiment straight and I'm going to cut the top to be straight as well. Parallel with it. Okay, bring it up here. I just want... Yeah, so I'm not just doing it quite close, I think. I'm going to do two different ways here for you. So two greetings will be done differently. I'll put that one off there. So that is a nice straight little box. So that can come on here, um, wherever we want to put it. I think I might put it underneath that, to one side maybe like so, and possibly map that on a piece of green card. Then this one, I'm going to fussy cut round so you can see the difference. Okay. No, you're not too late for celebration. You've only got the, um, we've only, we're only one month in. We've got another whole month. Any purchase of £45, anything, online exclusives, kits, clearance rack, it, literally anything, anything out of the annual catalogue, the mini catalogues, anything you want, um, even just stock up on ribbons, just ribbons and nothing else, or just adhesives, just cardstock, whatever you want, um, and you'll get to choose something out of the mini catalogue um, as a £45 spend for most of them. And uh, If you spend 90 then you get one out of the... Um, the, the I think it's three items that are for the £90 spend. One I've just shown you. I've probably shown you some of the others as well. There's a larger stamp set, a bigger stamp set um, with more elements in it. And there's a third. Oh, there's some dies, jungle. Some jungle dies. There's the stamps are a £45 spend and the dies are a £90 spend. So if you wanted to, sp if you were spending and getting a, a big, um, stocking up on your bundles then you could have both that bundle the d jungle bundle for 135 pound to spend and it won't cost you anything you get stamps and dies together so there we go we've got one straight and we've got one as a layer <coughs> <coughs> so i want a little piece that this is just going to go to enhance the sides of that don't want it a big gap, that one will do just perfectly. See, you oops a daisy, landslide on my slug wraps. Scraps get used this way, I love it. Just gonna pop those together like so. If I stick that one down, it's gonna stay in place better. So in my tweezers, some Tombow on the back and come up right to this edge, this side. I'm going to get that as a nice even border. Probably a bit too far away from the camera to be able to see that too well. Okay, but I can see that behind there. An even top and bottom. And you, you've got a bit of squidgeability room, so you can slide it slightly if you need. And then we're just going to do this by hand. And eyeball that with no glasses on. I'm not sure that this is quite straight, this edge, so I'm just going to straighten that up with a bigger pair of scissors. Instead of going snip, snip, snip along something like this, if you get in the heel of your scissors and then just bring that along the whole length, it's normally a better cut because you've got one continuous thread then. Okay, and then this one, I don't think that really, I think that really needs it on there. Yeah, we could get a bigger piece. Does it want to go round again? That could go round again, let's just... So if fussy cut round once, you can actually double cut this as well. So we just pop that one down again. Stick that down onto a piece of the green as well. I'll have my glasses down. You do need to come and see me. When the time's right, Linda, you've got a lot going on at the moment. Um, I have got days free. I was looking through with Jackie today. Um, I have got days free. Um, wait till I'm 100% clear as well of the COVID um, and then we can fix a date. Look, look ahead, plan ahead because I am feeling I'm coming through it. So I think it won't be long if we look into next week sometime, um, perhaps. I know Monday has become free. I can't remember the rest of the week off the top of my head. Um, 
Monday, Angela can't come now. She's uh, she hasn't got a lift over. Her husband drops her off here while she get, he goes to work, and then we rendezvous later. But he's away now working, so that's a change of plan. So there we go. So we've got two different greetings there. And one can go on one card and one could go on the other. I do think they're going to look better coming off to the side. Could go. Let me know what you think. And Maxine, tell me where you'd like yours to go. Okay, this one is smaller and I feel that could come off to the side or through the middle. Does it take away from the little vase? They're going to be raised up anyway. Just tell me what you'd like. Yeah, maybe a couple of weeks. Yeah, let me just make sure that I'm, I don't want to give you any any lurgies. You know you're always welcome. Our neighbour opposite has said that he's actually got some loads of spare kits, so um, testing kits. So we've said to him today on the phone that we will have some of them. So that's good. So I'm putting three of the little ones on there. Tip them in the bin. And those will come on in a minute. At the bottom, please. Okay, you'll have this one then. So pop in at the bottom. Hello there. And then this one, I've only put two on there because I've got rid of a lot of the white. Do you think that's going to look there, better there or off to the side? Someone tell me. Is it just two all in one place like that? Is that one better shaped to go off to the side? Let's do it. There we go. So I think they're good. There we go. Just a little bit different. Now, we want to put some gems on. So these, I will just put some random ones, just place them around on the backing. And then again, keeping them in threes. I like to have a couple fairly close together. Um, I can put three. There's only a little card, I know, but... Um, three that side so one two three and one two three that side so there's that one um, talking of afternoon teas I have put an email out to several of my local bods um, I am celebrating I'm, I'm making arrangements to celebrate um, I'm looking for anybody else that would like to come and join me on a bit explicit uh, specific it's on the um 3rd of april so wednesday and i'm going over to carriages of cambridge and if there's anybody that's free on that day and local to me would like to come out and have an afternoon tea and a, a different different environment is totally different i can give you some details um and um, just drop me a line and um let me know what you think of those cards. So this one's to Maxine. So I will keep that one to one side. Um, note cards. Oh, yeah, note cards. I can't get enough of them, Linda. How about the a hall? And have, we've thought about that, but what hall? I thought about Royden Community Centre or the Village Hall there. Um, if you know of anyone who caters for afternoon teas and will bring them in to a venue, that would work as well for us. So yeah, please, please do. Um, just keep thinking about us. We may be looking somewhere kind of like in um, um, maybe the end of March, April time, I don't know. Sort of a spring one. Okay, they'll be crafting and an afternoon tea. Okay, so where are we for time? Oh, you see that even that? You see, we managed to k k talk a lot, didn't we? There we go. So I hope you like those. They were just from my sketch. Now I'm going to show you, I'll just fold over the bottom because there's some other messages on there. This is how I sketch. Oh, I've turned the camera down now, haven't I? So this is how I sketch when I'm I'm drawing. I have a, a page out of a notebook and I drew this one out and I drew this one out, a layout. This was my leaves here. I didn't know what I was going to use. I just had the idea of this heart and I wanted a bowl, a, a, a container. So I was going to cut it off. It wants some grounding and I was going to cut it off at the top. I prefer the little nick. The letters were too big. Okay, so that was... Um, this one and then this was the one I ended up doing on Sunday okay and I was going to leave that one blank which I did okay and all of those in different celebrations okay so that is how my brain works when I think of something I get it down onto the paper okay so yes so take care and try and stay covid free 
Um, so don't come and see me at the moment. I'm sure it won't be long because I think I had the worst of it last week. Okay, and then, um, yeah, welcome to, I'll open the door again and let people come see me. Okay, so take care. And if you want anything from Celebration, if you want catalogues and you haven't got them yet, then please give me a shout and I'll get them in the post to you. Um, I've got stamps here so I can put them in a letterbox. Um, and any germs will be dead by the time they get through the postal system. <laughs> um that's how i look at it um yeah and um it doesn't end till the 29th of february we're getting an extra day this year because it's a leap year so we have an extra day okay so take care and let me know if there's anything i can do to help you so